If everything is connected and your Cloud I.O. box is activated, you can go back to the Operations view, where the system will ask you to start a discovery after the Cloud I.O. box selection. Once the discovery is finished, the system will show you all the fixtures connected to the Cloud I.O. box. Based on the color coding, you can see the fixtures needs. In this case, you have violet and red. Violet means that the fixture needs to be updated and red means that there are some internal errors present. If you see orange, this color tells you the lifetime of the lamp has come to the end. You can directly see the DMX address of the lamp, the firmware on board and the lamp powers. This view is divided in three layers to speed up the process for you, starting with the batch overview. Here you can see all the fixtures and their needs. Second is the firmware update where you can find all the fixtures to be updated and the last one are the DMX settings. From the batch overview you can send some commands to the lamp like factory default and movement reset. You can also locate the lamp in the rig. For LED fixtures the lamp will start blinking and for lamp based fixtures you will see a pan and tilt movement to avoid striking the lamp by mistake. These numbers here are the discovery information showing you the quality of the RDM line. It measures all the incoming and outgoing RDM signals. If this value of the retries is zero, the line is very good. If the value increases, there is something wrong on your DMX line. We strongly recommend to use a DMX terminator to anything over 20 fixtures. If the line is not still working properly, check the cable soldering or the network topology. Over here you can switch to a more detailed view with some more information and also the possibility to give names to the fixtures and your internal inventory code. All this information can be exported in a CSV file. If you now click on details, you can again have a deeper look at the fixtures. 